Alright guys, what we're going to do today is we've analyzed the trading strategy and excluded all the trades that were in the overbought or oversold territory. Now we're going to do a trading calendar. So let's make sure this is roughly where you guys can see it. It kind of has to be pretty wide. But yeah, we're going to start with the four hours I think and um, yeah let's see yeah. we'll start with the four hour trades then do the two hour I'm not used to doing it this way just a second yep there we go so let's see here four hour all of these. Yep, we'll just open all of them. And we're going to enter all the applicable trades onto the calendar here. Let's close this. Alright, so let's just start with the one that's closest here. Alright. So this is a zero, this one counts. We're looking at the RSI column here. So 3, 13, 6. Scroll down to that. For these four hours, let's, uh, let's do a lighter version of that color. That's pretty good. All right, and then this one's a break even, so no reason to do that. All right, this is a 100 and it's 1 1.5, 1, 1.36. Each of these columns is for a different hour of the day. That's how we're breaking it down. We're gonna use this information to see where the trades initiated and stuff. Um, 8, 10, 3. Yup. And this last one is a 200, so that will not be recorded. All right, so we got two valid trades here. This is a negative, or one valid trade here, rather. Um, 68, 6, 28, 3. Yep, that's it. It's kind of a good chance to double check. Make sure you didn't miss any. So 200, 200, and 200. So that's nothing, nothing usable there. Only one valid trade here. 724.3. Yep, that's it. And uh, that's a 200, that's a 200. Seems like there's a lot of losses. 8, 8, 23. Yep. 8, 8, 23. These. Well, that's a break even, and that one is excluded. All right, so 312.6 for this one. There we go. 722.23. Seven Bam. And then another one. Oh, the rest of these. Yep. 
right. We'll look at the equity curve once we get these all entered in. So 225, 2. Two twenty five two five two five twenty two eleven five twenty two eleven there we go um seven ten man these are all wins nice seven ten fifteen there we go 11, 29, 10. Yup. Man, that was like almost all wins. Alright. One valid trade here. 5, 25, 11. And that's a 100 RSI. 5, 25, 11. Yup. This should be a pretty good equity curve. That one's excluded. See, the 200 RSI did exclude a lot of bad ones. Um, that's 12, 3, 10. I guess that's it. 12, 3, 10. Uh, some of these got erased. 12, 3, 10. There we go. One more. Alright, so 9, 25, 7. Nine, a 25, a 7. 11, 1, 2. 2. That's a 200, and that's a break even. So that is all the four hours. So let's take a look. Let's make sure we got all of them colored right. Color coding. Yep, looks like we got all of them. Yep. Let's take a look at that equity curve. It's a pretty fine looking equity curve for just a few trades. Trades. Yeah. This is the one with 3x leverage. 4x leverage. That's quite nice. Alright, so let's do the two hours. Another thing that's worth noting about the strategy is there's more assets than this um, to test. So you could be trading on more assets than just that. I really wish I could have some music playing, but uh, probably copyright strike it. Alright, let's go back here. Yeah. Oh yeah, some of these we didn't have the um, oscillator or DMI values recorded, so those do not count. This one has divergences. I wonder what the divergence was by itself. Pretty good, honestly. Alright. That also has that. Here we go. Alright. So this is V chain. Um, RSI zero, so one fourteen zero. That's actually twenty four. Let's see. Let's do that color. For that. Why is it freezing up? All right. 100, so that counts. 
four seventeen one. That's a two hundred, that one's excluded, and ten thirty twenty two. That's all that's it, right? Ten thirty twenty two. Very nice. Yep, that's all we got there. We got both the values here. RSI zero, that's one ten six. Excluded, excluded, eight nine twenty two. You know, expecting to not have losses in a trading strategy is like expecting to not ever take a punch when you're a professional boxer. 12-3-8. Yep, 12-3-8. This is a pretty good day right here. Yep, that's what we got there. We're looking for that equity curve to just go kind of straight up. Like nothing like that really happens, but theoretically if you have a good combination of strategies, that's kind of what you're looking for. 5, 21, 17. 5, 21, 17. Five twenty one seventeen. This is a zero RSI, so seven six nine. Let me shut this off. There we go. Let me see. That was seven six nine. Seven thirty twenty one. All right, a couple more. This is uh, Stella Lumens, Stellar Lumens. 200, that's excluded. 320, 18. 320, 18. Excluded, also excluded. Tiny loss here. 433 excluded 6317 there we go Let's see if there are any more one more that's excluded all right, pretty good so far. Um, so two ten four on mana. Two ten four. Um, that's a zero, so that counts. Three eight zero. And we got six four three. That's a two hundred excluded seven three seventeen. This is included seven thirty twenty three. Make sure we're not missing anything. Yep, seven thirty twenty three.
That's excluded. 9, 5, 11. So that we didn't have the value for, we couldn't find it. Um, 653. 653. 653, this is 100, so 616.11. I think that's the last one. All right, so that's all the two hours right there. Let's take a look and see what that equity curve looks like. And that is pretty dang good. Yep, that's starting to look kind of like a line. Let's see what the average earning is. So that's 28.7%, really 28.71% rounded up for 37 trades. It's pretty dang good. Here, let's do a metric. We're gonna say that equals that divided by that. So we'll see the average trade value. So the average trade value is pretty good. That's like half of what the take profit is. Almost exactly, really. So, not bad. Alright, let's see how much time this is. We might as well do all the one hours. The three hour thing was kind of an experiment. It's a non-standard time frame. So, sometimes stuff doesn't work very well on those. That's a zero, so that counts. It's, uh, three, nine, eighteen. What color will these guys be? Let's do blue. A bluish color. Three, nine, three, fourteen is the break even there. That's a two hundred. This counts. Seven, thirty, sixteen. Seven thirty sixteen. That's excluded. This is included. Eleven eleven thirteen. Eleven fifteen eighteen. That's it for that one. So this counts two six fourteen. Six fourteen. Three one twenty two. Yeah. Then we got this one, 535. Five, 572. This is, does not count. Seven twenty nine ten. Let's 
So 11.23 is excluded. Yep. All right. Oh. Mm. All right. What we got here? Binance coin. 200, 200 excluded. Zero break even. Oh yeah, this was in negative territory, which technically isn't part of the strategy, so I don't even know why it was there. Yeah, this one... I think all the others... Well, this one was a winner, but it excluded so much. Alright, 9, 1, 21. This is what being a professional trader looks like. <sighs> All right, it's 200, 3, 5, 13. That is a break even. Yep, excluded. 5, 10, 10. Five seventeen eight five twenty four twenty is a break even excluded seven thirty one two. Eight thirty one is included, but it's a break even. Nine ten twenty. Nine ten twenty excluded, excluded, included, break even. Yep. All right. Uh, that's excluded. Two twenty six nine. Let's see here. Three two sixteen. Three two sixteen. This is a one hundred, but it's a break even. 200, 731, 0, 731, 0, this is a 109, 1, 0. That is all for that one. Yep. Okay. That's a two hundred three five four. That one counts. Three fourteen six. wasn't a good hour for a couple days there. Mm, four three fourteen. Right, four fourteen nineteen. Here we got four seventeen sixteen. Four seventeen sixteen. Then we got finally some wins. 
Yep. Yeah. 8259 8259 here's another one 10667 that is excluded <coughs> and I guess this one couldn't figure out what that was there's a couple of them that the chart data was kind of strange hard to interpret. Alright, 11, this is Adam, 11, 13, 0, or sorry, 1, 13, 0. Alright, so 2, 7, 17. Three, three, five, three, three, five. All right, so here we got make sure none of those two hundreds, nope, seven, nine, thirteen. It's going to be a nice looking equity curve here. And we're going to see average trade value. That's a 200, so it's excluded, and so are the rest of these. Only got a couple more to go. That's a 200, that's excluded. This is included. 615, 12. Eight, four. Five, nine, twenty, twenty three. Nine, twenty, twenty three. This one's excluded. Yep. Excluded two bad trades on that one. That's nice. Uh, let's see. Yeah. This is uh, one, one, three. First day. Two, twenty, two, twelve. So that's excluded. That is a break even. 72323. That's everything there. Alright, Litecoin. Always a favorite. Six thirty fourteen. Seven four nine. Yep, all right. Seven twenty-three twenty-three. We already had one there. For times where there's a trade at the same time, I put it above. Because it's really the purpose of this is to see how profitable each hour is. You can see that every hour except this one 
and that one and that one. I guess this one has been profitable, but this is the number of trades. So you can kind of calculate how profitable each hour is. Uh, let's see here. Which one did we just do? 27.23. This was a break even. It was right on the line. And the rest do not count. Two more to go. Alright, so 119.18. 119.18. Very good. Um, 323.6. That is a 200. 1115, 8. 1115, 8. That's it for that. Yep. Last one, Bitcoin. Alright, 222, 6. Then all the way down here to 9519. There we go. And last one, 111414. Yep. All right, that's all the trades from that strategy filtered out. For all of them to be done within 70 to 30, within 70 and 30 RSI. And that is one mother effing beautiful equity curve. Wow. Look how great that is. And you can see with the, this is with compound interest, it starts to look like a parabolic um, curve because it's compounding. So that's 900% interest in a year. So nine times, if you started out with a um, thousand, you would end up at the end of the year with $9,000. Now trading fees do factor into this. Each trade, the trading fee is 0.1%. So that's something to consider. This is the average trade amount we did and it's still pretty dang good 0.692 so the total there is 56 with 82 trades not bad at all and this is just one strategy I'm currently let's see here I don't know if you guys can see it but right back here that screen and that screen are that's my trading desk and I'm running three strategies and working on a fourth so 56% with compound interest with leverage, or yeah, 56% with that much leverage and compound interest. It's nine times your money. Not bad at all. Anyway, uh, that's all for today. Thanks.